What's going on YouTube? Lockstyle TV back again with another video. So today I want to talk about why I'm growing locks. I think um, I think it's a good conversation to have and I think it's a good thing to be conscious of. Just because the the dreadlock journey is a long one and I've mentioned before that this is my my second time at it. Um, I've done it before and I think um, <clears throat> in order to really get through the journey, you have to know why why you're in it. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess, um, I remember just growing up, I always had really short hair, uh, really, really short hair, like a, like a two, was like the longest my hair ever went. Um, my dad was always cutting my hair and I never really did anything with it. I never did any styles with it. And, um, shortly after high school, a few months after high school, I went into the military and I had short hair then, and I had to cut my hair a certain way for, for four years. And... <clears throat> I don't know, I, I always had a little bit of a problem being told what to do. And I think when I was in the military was when I really made the decision that I wanted to, to grow dreadlocks. Um, it wasn't like an absolute decision. It was just something that I, I, I thought about. And I was like, when I get out of the military, I won't have to cut my hair every two weeks. I'm gonna grow dreads. But that's what sparked it. That's what put the seeds inside my mind. Uh, but actually, the, the first couple of years of getting out of the military, I, I kept doing the same thing though. I kept getting haircuts every single every single uh, week. Or no, every, maybe every two weeks. But I get haircuts still all the time. And I kept my hair short still all the time. And I remember one time I went in for a haircut and uh, my barber asked me like, you wanna do the same thing as you always do? And I don't know what came over me that day. I was like, you know what? No, don't cut the top. Um, just, just take the sides. And that's when it started. So from that day, I actually went an entire year without cutting my hair. Um, I didn't grow locks actually that time. I just grew hair, I grew my hair long and then, uh, I don't know, I, I just cut it off because I got tired of it. And then the second time I grew my hair was when I actually grew dreadlocks. <clears throat> So I think the, the first, the reason I, I started doing it, um, the first, the first go around, the first, the reason I started locking my hair the first go around was when I wanted to try a different style. Um, you see everyone, you see people with dreads and it just looks cool. It's unique. You can, there's a lot you can do with it. You can dye them, you can braid them, you can, you can do different size locks. You can get congos, you can freeform, you can, there's, it's such a versatile way to have your hair. And that was really appealing because I was like, wow, there's so much you could do with your hair if you if you grow dreadlocks. That's that's dope. I want to do that. Um, so so I started, and I started uh, just doing little little. Just, I started with a sponge, started twisting my hair, and I eventually got it interlocked. Um, <clears throat> and the whole time throughout this journey, I don't think I had a real reason why I wanted to keep. I think I just I think I just wanted to have cool hairstyles, and I think the idea of like shaking my hair seemed cool. Um, but I don't. I don't think that was a good enough reason to keep me in the game because I, I cut him after like, not even a year, I think it was like nine, 10 months. Uh, I made a lot of good progress, but I cut him, I cut him real quick. And I think it's because I didn't really have a good foundation and have a really good decision or a good reason why I wanted to keep him. So go around number two, <clears throat> reason that I want to grow these locks is because it's a challenge, it really is. It's something that you have to commit to, it's something that you have to be in. 100% because if you're in just halfway, <clears throat> something could really convince you to cut them. In my situation was getting a new job. That convinced me to cut them. Um, this time, this next set of locks, locks, <laughs> dreads, dreadlocks. I call them all three, whatever, whatever I feel like at the time. This next set of dreadlocks that I'm gonna grow, I wanna make sure and I wanna prove to myself that I'm able to see something through all the way to the end. Now there's plenty of things that I've seen all the way through in life, but I feel like this is just a really personal thing uh, for myself. And that's that's one thing I love about about dreadlocks because it's more than a it's more than a hairstyle. Um, growing your hair out and, and and putting it in dreadlocks and, and letting it mature and, and grow, it's a journey. It's it's the only hairstyle that we call a journey. Uh, because it's it's a it's it's a test. It's a test of your ability to to see an end game in mind and and get there. And it and it's a struggle. And I mean, the main thing with it is patience. But there's times throughout this journey where your hair is not doing what it wants to do. Your hair is looking crazy. Your your hair is taking too long. You feel like you go months on end where you feel like it's not growing. But if you wait a little bit longer. Boom, it grows, it grows some more because it's not, it's not just the growth, it's your hair, 
they're shrinking and expanding and contracting and, and all of that. And there's so much that goes into this journey. And I really want to, I really want to prove to myself that I can see through it, see it through to the end. And <clears throat> I don't know. I, I just feel like, I feel like if I, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like I, I'll really benefit um, personally and, and spiritually from doing this. So <clears throat> that's, that's why I'm doing it. And I, I think it's really good to have those, have those little personal tests throughout your life because they really do help you grow. They really do help you become a better person. And um, it's cool. I think it's really cool that, that something like your hair has the ability to transform you as a person, to make you more patient, to teach you how to wait, to teach you how, how to set a goal and reach it when you have to take one one little baby step at a time because you know unless you're going to go get like extensions like those big dreadlock extensions the only way to get your hair here is to is to just put in the time and to wait and there's a lot of things in life that takes a lot of time like it's going to the gym setting goals um getting saving saving up money uh, learning how to play an instrument i don't know there's so many things in life that take a lot of time and then if you try to just jump in and rush and you don't have your mind right you end up not actually achieving anything and i think that growing out dreads is something that's really simple and really powerful at the same time so <clears throat> i am doing my best to keep that in the back of my mind and i will continue to do my best to keep that in the, in, in the back of my mind and in the forefront of my mind throughout this entire journey that way if i ever do reach a point where you know, maybe I do consider cutting them because, oh, it's just not taking too long or, or something. I you know I have something to, to look back on because you really need to find your reason. When you find that reason, it's going to help you get through the other stage. It's going to help you get through the stage where you feel like it hasn't grown in three months. Um, it's going to it's going to help you out the entire way. So that's my reason for growing dreads. Comment your reason down below. I love to hear it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thank you.